Hello everyone and we will everywhere you are. Today I'm gonna talk about the application of mesh transformation for mesh creation of a repetitive geometry for saving our time and our energy. At first we create a mesh for a part of our geometry and then copy this mesh for all other parts of the geometry. But in this way, there are some delicate points that we have to consider to reach a perfect mesh. So let me do it. This is the geometry of a fin tube heat exchanger. As you can see here, this part of the geometry is repeated. So instead of creating a mesh for the whole geometry, I can create a mesh for just this part that is repeated and copy its mesh for all other parts of our geometry. Previously I created a structured mesh for this repetitive part and now I'm gonna copy this mesh using transformation mesh tools in ANSYS ICM CFD. Let's create a mesh for this This is the pre-mesh and I convert it to unstriked mesh. I want to copy all elements of the mesh and so I enable all parts in the display tree. In the edit mesh tab and transform mesh I select all mesh elements by using these eyeglasses. I enable the copy option and for the number of copies I determine 10. As well I enable merge node and also delete duplicate elements. Here the question is what is the function of the merge nodes option. Response. As you know, I selected this wall and uh, this wall. And I want to copy this mesh along the x axis. So, what happens? The copy of this mesh will be coincident with this mesh. And hence, we have two surface meshes in just one plane. But the merge nodes options will merge these two meshes into one. I use the explicit method, but I need the value of x offset. So here I use the measure distance option for this purpose. OK, copy and paste this value to the X offset field. And finally, apply. Now we check the boundaries. Here I want just the first and the last boundaries as adiabatic wall and all others uh, are just interior boundaries. So I create uh, a new part with the interior name and select these meshes.
The next boundary is the inlet. For the same reason, I put these boundaries into the interior part. Now I check our created mesh for errors or possible problems. This is a possible problem and not an error. As well as this. And now this mesh is ready for extracting and importing into analysis software such as ANSYS Fluent or ANSYS CFX or I don't know, Comsol for example. Thank you so much for your watching and have a nice time.